Okay, this is the preview for the next release of Virtuous. First thing, you have to know that there is no default file, default NGC, as it used to be in the beginning in the other version, because everything is set up in the preference window. So, you set what you need here, default decimal, you can refresh timeout, uh, and the initializ initialization code, and full sample, spindle, full speed delay, and coordinate for setting and rotation, anything except G54, of course. And this input, input timeout delay is very useful for Schmucker Pi because it does not work well uh, on my computer and I guess some other too. In the display section, you modify here the size of your window and the different things, show reference cut, bottom reference cut, and everything. Icon size, very useful if you're using a touch screen. And the virtual keyboard, the size dimension, and you should cancel when focusing out. Probing parameters here, and when this is support, you will just click here to probe to length if you have a probe, of course. Drilling, center drill depth, how deep you're going to uh, use your center drill, late in plasma, which are not supported yet. Okay. In utilities also, you can reload reload tool tables. This is not for Axis or Chimokapai, but for features itself. And uh, this bar here is now quick access, and you define uh, what order you want the buttons to appear, and they don't move. Okay, let's start do something useful. Try to do something to show its possibilities. When I click new, I will load the default template that I save, and here is what I have. The first thing that is need all the time is stock. You're going to work with stock. You're not going to cut air, and even if you're trying just um, simulation, with uh, you need stock because it defines many parameters that are useful. Y we have the dimensions here in chords, and we can align here either on left, center, or right. And the same thing for y-axis, it's stuck center or bottom, and the z-axis, bottom or top. If I align on the on top, surface is at, is at zero, and bottom, surface is at one half here in this case. Okay, and option corner radius wall thickness. If I'm working with a tool that is one inch thick and I have a wall thickness of 85 thousandths of an inch, then it shows me what I have here. And if the corners are radius, let's say to one tenth of an inch, it shows here too. Now the center line axis is on Y on X, excuse me, and it could be on Y, and it could be on Z axis too. So if you're working on a tubing, you want to notch the end, and you have a two, two inch long tube, and four inch diameter, you will set the corner radius at two, or anything more than two, five will be fine, and we have the round tubing that we want to use here so you can see exactly what you're going to machine. Okay, these uh, dimension rapid to Z, it's the surface above cut start. And the Z clear is above rapid to Z, that's 200, um, 2 tenths of an inch. So my rapids will be at 300 of an inch above zero. Clear through, is we'll see that later. But now let's go back to what we had. Stuck the bar stuck that was half an inch. Here it is. Tool change. The next thing you cannot um, work of some stuck without tool. And these are from your tool table. So let's use a three eighty. We're using for rough and finish just roughing or just finishing.
measuring tool length compensation do we have to measure uh, you already touch us what and um, start spindle spindle speed speed rate step over penetration do we ramp down or we plunge very useful if you want to just um, engrave a circle or something okay and let's add a circle so we add a circle and we'll put it one inch in diameter okay as you can see it start hard to see yep. it start from the surface and it's going cuts down to what is to this is the 50,000 of an inch across that we had here here too if we want to cut just flush the bottom reduce bottom or just half and the same thing user define here or the same thing um, for the cut start it can start at one quarter no matter if we just made a hole and we want to make a smaller one that's what we will do we would do okay now this cuts counterclockwise it can cut clockwise too inside normal outside on the line or a pocket right here so we'll show the pocket we're going to cut just one quarter it's a lot here and we'll hide this okay so you see that it is milling counterclockwise this way counterclockwise it start it mills to the bottom to the cut depth first cut stick and then it loops back here and cut expand the hole and when it's complete watch that it uh, moves away from the cut from the from the edge that it just cut before raising and it does the same for the second exactly the same for the second pass and the third and the fourth each pass is done like this but this does not happen when we just cut inside normal only on pocket and on finishing cut let's say it's counterclockwise you want to make a finishing cut of 50,000 and you want to cut clockwise will set everything readjust everything and now we see clearly what's happening start cutting inside counterclockwise when it's finished you notice one thing that it stopped here it does not have to completely uh, do a full circle because right here at this position everything has been removed and then it will do the same for the second pass for the finishing pass also it will move away from the edge okay and that's it that's what it does okay for this and let's see that we are going to drill some holes around this hole already so we add drill change and we're going to use a drill we're going to use a center drill and that drill is one eighth of an inch if I just select here one inch point angle and everything so we have everything here that is need to drill and we're going to drill a regular circle of eight holes Leave it at six holes, and um, you see by default it will go through. But if you just want to use a center drill, we'll use center drill depth that was defined, and it will cut to one eighth of an inch that was defined. And also, if I need to, let's say there's no circle here, and I need a center hole, a hole in the middle. I will just click here, drill center. Now we have seven holes like this. Okay. Now, let's disable this for 
custom code. Okay, you can add your custom code very easily. Just add from miscellaneous advent G code or click on the plus here. Go back there, miscellaneous advent G code path. Okay, you select a file that you already defined. I did something just few parameters and six point, and this is what I got. PS will move this wheel good and this too and we have the same thing here okay uh, we can cut two bottom and quarter exactly the same two and we can also rotate it 33 degrees yeah okay it rotate around that point here. So this is what is possible. Very, very easy to do and it works fine. So okay, it's a overview, good overview of what's going on. Still some work, some ideas that I'm developing too and when everything re is ready, uh, it will be released. Um, for now, it's still a broken package. Some parts do not work well with all the change that I've done. But I'll be happy to read your comment. Thank you very much for watching.